Hello and welcome to another update video about silver. So in today's video, I just want to focus on the short term micro price action here. Yeah, we want to talk about the micro structure and um, I just see I need to, oh, I had this in the wrong place. One second, let me just move that up here. So um, yeah, well, I just want to focus on the micro structure. I just want to highlight this price action here you know price action is currently playing out on the silver chart we could not break above resistance today but basically landed in resistance and we're getting rejected here at the 78.6 retracement level okay um so that's not necessarily too bullish um but we are holding support so i want to talk about where are we okay could we really have bottomed here in october um, what are the levels that now need to hold for trend continuation and what is the target for the third wave? Essentially, we need to break above the resistance levels that are outlined on this chart to confirm further and add probabilities for the scenario that we could have bottomed in a wave two here on the 5th and 6th of October. So um, last week we talked obviously about this potential five wave move to the upside, which was one. Okay. I gave you support for a wave two. It was a very shallow wave two, therefore it did hold support for trend continuation higher. We have now reached a key point here because we essentially, there are two ways of measuring resistances. And I gave you both of them in the last video. First of all, we had the $23.7 level. We have not broken above it. Yeah, no sustained break above that level. So we are holding below that level. And then we even need to break above $23.45. And if I remember correctly, that was the one to one ratio, the 100% extension level that essentially needs to break roughly. Yeah, let me just double check that. Yeah, maybe I did set that a little too high. So it's here, $23.38 basically. This is essentially the level that really needs to break, okay, to um, make a bearish outcome less likely. Why is that so? Well, first of all, we have five waves up off the low. That's great. We have a corrective move down. That's great. But it's a very shallow wave too. It's not ideal. And we now have um, choppy price action since then to the upside. Going higher, yeah, holding trend lines. So, I mean, I could probably add a trend line here, which is currently holding, but we're trying to break it just now. So I'm just going to add it as a trend line here to the chart to observe, yeah, to observe simply to observe if it breaks, then we might have a bit of a problem here. Well, it would probably lead to a more bearish interpretation. The thing is at the moment, um, what you normally want to avoid or to rule out, or at least to make a scenario in which we have a three wave move less likely, you want to see a break above the one to one ratio. So first of all, yeah, it can always be five waves up, three waves down, five waves up can always be an overall three wave structure. You have one leg with five waves, you have one leg with three waves, and you have one leg with potentially five waves, which to be honest, we have, you could, you could count this as a small five wave move. So you can count it basically as an ABC structure. So it could be an A wave, it could be a B wave and a C wave in the orange wave count in which we might uh, just be forming a wave four, which could lead to another low in a wave five. Okay, so that's still possible, but this C wave will only get less likely above the 100% extension level. And that is at around $23.38, $23.39. So we haven't broken above that level. Therefore, I have to consider still the ABC. It's only a three wave move. And we need to break above those pivot points to make the yellow count, which is the bullish one, more likely, basically add probabilities. These probabilities are unfolding in real time as we're watching the charts. So the first step that I would like from a bullish point of view is the following. Let me just change the trend line so that it actually fits. Didn't have it drawn correctly. Okay. So first of all, to really push higher, we need to hold this yellow wave too low. That's at $21.73. As soon as we break below that level, we have confirmation that the price topped just in three waves and we have to prepare for a new low below the 5th of October lows. That would be the most, yeah, well, imminently most bearish outcome. It could be that we don't break the trend line 
um, or even if we break the trend line, as long as we don't break below this wave too low or B wave low in the orange wave count, um, we can push higher. And if we push higher, the next target that really needs to be reached for the yellow third wave is between $23.85 and $24.52. Gold did reach that target, silver didn't. Now that's not ideal, that's not ideal. This is basically my minimum expectation for a third wave, ideally even higher, okay? So I'm still watching that. We haven't broken below support, and therefore I'm still watching for higher. But for me, this is the key level here. This wave too low or B wave low at $21.74 is for me the pivot between trend continuation higher and a breakdown to new lows below the October lows. Yeah. So in the next step, in an ideal world, we would turn around, break above $23.39 and get to this target area for a third wave between $23.82 roughly and $24.50. And then we should still get a wave four and a wave five. And once we have those five waves in place, then we can look forward to the next ABC pullback. And this pullback will most likely then present us with an entry point, a pullback entry point for a third wave rally. So we need the five waves up. We call that a wave one, then an ABC pullback. We call that a wave two, and then we can rally from there. Um, and that should in an ideal world play out like this. One, two, three, four, five, wave one, a, B, C, wave two, there will be a support zone and then we can take off from there, similar to what we did here. But the question now, of course, is, is this a sustainable rally? And as long as we're holding the key support that I mentioned, it can be, yeah. Um, it's just all a matter of, okay, can we get above this resistance here and get into the next target zone? So these are the relevant levels to watch, in my opinion, that, um, yeah, that should be watched. At the moment, as I said also in the last video, it is still worth to be skeptical about this rally. We haven't got a confirmed low in place. In fact, silver hasn't even made higher highs. Gold looks much better, but also got so far rejected in the target area. As I mentioned in the last few days, silver and gold ideally push above the target area in a third wave to really clarify their intentions. That's my update about silver. I hope you will like the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you're interested in the S&P 500 and stocks, check out our S&P 500 and stocks service. You find the link in the description. And yeah, have a great day. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.